because we're going to go on that, that giant tree mountain thing right there. We're going to go on it and, and stuff. Whatever, don't wave. I didn't want to wave to you anyway. Yeah, we're going we're to drive over mountains. It's not that mountain, but it's similar. Actually, it might be that mountain. I don't know. We're going on a mountain. Mountainous adventure. There's a hiking trail right here. It's actually a really nice, nice hiking trail. Looks like these people wanted to stop, but there's nowhere to park, and I'm behind them, making them nervous. All nervous is that they have to pull over somewhere. Or maybe it was that gentleman crossing the street. Yeah, they wanted to go hiking. They don't know where they are. They're from another state. But I'm gonna try to stop. Okay. Back in action. Oh, it's the, kayak the kayakers that don't know where they are. There's no river up here. You were going the wrong way. See, so yeah, I was trying to stop recording and then restart recording and I hit the wrong button on the controller here this thing so I changed the mode to like pictures or something and it was just chaotic I didn't like it but now we're recording things are okay so we're gonna drive over this mountainous adventure through the wilderness to the other side. And hopefully, everything will be golden goose at the end. But, whoa, you are close to me. So recently, I hiked up here in the winter. And I went the snowboarding's down with some friends of mine, woo tree. And it was actually really super fun to go snowboarding down the street. Because they, they closed this road in the winter. Why you put, let me pass you again? You were fine. Anyway, oh yes, they closed this road in the winter because it's too intense to plow and dangerous. So we get to hike up it in the winter time and do the snowboards down. Oh man some scary corners here. Look at this. Uh, yeah. I don't know what that guy was doing. And up at the top, there is a parking area and a hiking trail to continue up the mountain. And once upon a time, last year when I got this motor motorcycle, I decided that I was going to ride over this mountain adventure and I was going to stop at the top and take a break. So I stopped into the parking lot up here and I totally dumped my bike because I didn't expect so many bumps to be in that parking lot. It's dirt and it totally caught me off guard. And I went down and I was sad and I looked around hopefully that nobody saw me take a tumble. It appeared that nobody saw me take a tumble so I left the scene quickly. There was no damage to Hoggy Lass, which was nice because I didn't really want to have any damage to Hoggy Lass, but there was damage to my knees. Sadness. This is where this, this area here, I dumped it in that parking lot. Don't look at me with your judgmental sunglasses eyes. There's a lot of people up here right now. It's not a very super tall mountain. I mean, we're already going down the other side, but there's a nice view right there. A view of the mountainous wilderness off in the distance. Ooh, 
Yep, and some water. And yes, this is a signal for mountainous wilderness. The wilderness mountains over there in the wilderness. I kind of want to go up that road, but I don't have my the correct rear tire on this yet. But when I do, oh, that road and me gonna have a fun time. Ooh, maybe this. Nope, that's not a road. That is not a road. That's a park parking. So yeah, this side of the somewhat not gigantic mountain road is a little steeper, but not as curvy. Doesn't have the curves. Has a few curves, not as crazy intense. See, this part is cool. It's got the wilderness trees and the hillies. It's like a tunnel of wilderness. Oh. Some big bumpies. There's some rocks sticking out of the road and stuff. I wish I had my off-road tire on the rearsies so we could do off-roadsies soon, hopefully. It's been a week since they told me that they would call me in two weeks-ish when it's hopefully there. And I will ride back to the store, shop, service area, and they will attach it to Hoggy Lass. And then Hoggy Lass will be complete when I took Hoggy Lass to the shop for the service appointment and tire change. I trailered it down with my neighbor who has a trailer. I do not own a trailer. And about five minutes away from the shop, we took a turn and Hoggy Lass took a tumble in the back of the trailer. It actually fell, uh, not hope, thank, thank the heavens, not out of the trailer, but onto the side of the trailer. And there's a dent on the side of my tank, the panels on my tank. It's actually not, not the actual tank, which is good because those panels are there for that exact reason because this is a somewhat off-road action vehicle. So those panels are there to protect it against damages to the tank, I'm assuming. I mean, nobody ever told me that and I didn't read it anywhere. But that's what they look like to me because they're interchangeable and they have different styles of panel that you can get. But any anyway, I am babbling. So, so there's a dent in the side of my tank panel and they offered to replace it, but I'm actually going to do something else to it. I'm going to customize the side of my tank panels and I'm gonna take these ones off and pound that dent out and reattach them once they've been covered in leather. So I'm gonna match the seat and they're gonna be all leathery seat goodness. It's gonna be neat. Whoa, I love that hill. Uh, I'll show said dent in a minute or two or three in a minute there's a stop sign i'm gonna stop and get off and i'm gonna show you the dent it's not so bad but it's enough that it's denty okay i'm gonna stop in this dirty gravel and i'm gonna turn the bike off I'm just gonna i'm lost in gears okay so this is neutral. We're gonna dismount on the wrong side, break the law. So this is the dent in the side of my tank panel, which isn't really that bad, but I'm gonna leather this so it matches this. It's gonna be a leather goodness. And then probably also put a nice, nice strip of leather up the front as kind of a uh, tank pad. That's that's the thing that's going to be happening within the next couple weeks, hopefully. In terms of upgrades. Okay, bye now.